I, I threw out full power 152 knots with myself in it. Nice. Knots. Holy smokes. <laughs> you heard the man, 152 knots. This is going to be key. Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome back to Clear Direct. We've got some bogey upgrades here. Aerosport products sent me these fairings. So first off, we're replacing these two fairings on the Rans S21. This one goes on the wing lift strut, and then this one goes underneath the belly for the gear strut. And they're made of ABS plastic. I'm not a big fan of these, but I will say I didn't install them perfectly with rubber donuts on there, and I land pretty hard on these things. So uh, this is a high stress area, and it's just gotten trashed. So you can see I, I put duct tape on there <laughs> for a while. So I am replacing these. So nothing against the Rans ones. I'm just not a huge fan of them. But Aerosport Products has these third party fairings and they make a whole bunch of other things for the Rans S21, including my instrument panel, my wing tips, even better gear fairings because they will cover up a very draggy part of the Rams F21, which is where the lift strut combines with the kind of the gear strut. A lot of interference drag right there. We're gonna clean that up and see if we can't get a couple more knots out of the thing. We're gonna test the bogey with the 29 inch bush wheels and the new Kato props with all of these off. In the meantime, I'm gonna fit them up, drill the holes, put in rivnuts nuts where I need to, and then send them off to my guys across the field at Bend Airport. They are Steven and Brian Bird at Cascade Customs and Design. They did a fantastic paint job on the bogey. So look at this, this is the, looks like a medical device or something, but this will grab the gear strut and the lift strut and cover up the bolt and really clean up that area. Cause this is a fast airplane. I mean, it, you know, it's not a true bush plane. It can do up to 150 miles an hour on this thing. Uh, not anymore. I'm slowing it down with, with big old bush wheels, but not that much. But this is a two piece part. So we're gonna fit it up onto the bottom of the bogey and send it off to paint. He's already primed this and uh, offered to paint it for me, but, uh, but my painters have the exact color number and flake to match the uh, dark on the belly of the bogey. So let's move on to the wing fairings. Oh, there's both of them in this one container. So let's go over to the scale because these will be heavier than the Rans ones admittedly, but I just wanna find out how much. It's not gonna be a ton, but let's hold them up to each other. So this essentially does the same trick. And there's the, the footprint laid on top of each other. And then of course this one is quite a bit smaller, but Jess ran it, Rans S21 is just getting some crazy speeds with all of his fairings. Okay, let's go weigh them. All right, moment of truth. This is the Rans belly fairing coming in at 0.5 pounds. And the Aerosport products one comes in at 0.9. So 0.4 difference. And next up is the wing strut fairing. Comes in 0.4. And Aerosport products, 0.4. And what I really like about this one, I don't even know how you disconnect it, but it is two pieces. And whereas the Rans one, take a look right here, taking it on and off, that stress point, there's a crack right there. So you will not have that with a two piece fairing like this. Turns out you need glasses to be able to tell how these come apart. These are screws. So super easy. I just got this one apart, but you just undo these three screws real quick. And voila. And handy front left and rear left. All right, next step is to hold this up to the bogey and mark some points where we can match drill and then get them uh, sent off to paint. First time when you put it in place, you just kind of want to mark the structure so they you're not going to put mounting holes in through any structure. And then let me address this. So this is the previous mounting hole for the Rans one. I'm going to put just like a nylon screw in there just to uh, prevent water intrusion. So I've got this in place. I've got it screwed together and I've already done the, the number 40 screws right there. And I'm going to eventually use 632 and then countersink these for flat mounting and then since I've got good access through these access panels no need to put riv nuts or nut plates or anything I'm just gonna put in nylon lock nuts so next step is to carefully hold a wood block in there for backing and then push this up exact and then match drill of size 40 through the wing and then click as you go so that's the plan for this and then we'll start on the struts in a little while 
as I was filming that last segment, I noticed this wasn't nestled together. So there's nothing that's going to keep that screwed in. So that's kind of a threat. So make sure that before you start match drilling, that's locked in place. Thank you. How'd it go? Straightforward. <laughs> like it's weird. your job. Right? <laughs> they are, uh... Are they all dry? Yeah, you can touch them. Touch them? Take them? Yep, they're good to go. Cool. Cascade Customs and Design, as always, did a fantastic job. So, I've got the washers all glued, and now they're just drying with some pressure from the nuts i mean since i know somebody will ask i just use cyanoacrylate or super glue to glue those in they're plastic washers on plastic so should be just fine shouldn't take too long to dry while they're drying i'm gonna put in some of these cute little 632 riv nuts where i can't screw a nylon lock washer so pretty much underneath the floorboard right there so that's about the last step <laughs> I shaved. I know I've been working too much. Mustache was getting too crazy. But I got the wing lift strut fairing final installed and looks looking good. I, I will note that I did put some nylon size 10-32. If they look a little bit green, it's because there's actually blue Loctite in there. But yeah, so those are done. And now I'm fitting up the ones down here and the, this step is to have them um, put in place and then you mark the very edge with masking tape on both the lift strut and the girth strut take it off and then you'll put some foam tape because you don't want water getting up in there or down in there i assume this is for water <laughs> intrusion it's also probably for vibration and whatnot but i i, I might end up finding low point and putting a, a drain hole down there at some point We'll see. This one I don't think needs a drain hole. It doesn't have any foam, by the way, because if you look at it, the, the water will drip out. It might puddle up a little bit in there, um, but eventually it'll get out or maybe come out this seam. All right, let's get these guys off and get the foam tape on and get them final installed. Okay, got them removed. Just using a little bit of alcohol to help the foam tape adhere. And I confirmed that the tape goes actually on the aircraft structure rather than the fairings themselves. Okay, this one's done. I've got the foam on this one. Just to show you what the side looks like. Ready to go on. All right. This one was quite a bit more difficult because of all of these components right here. So the autopilot pitch servo had to loosen to move out of the way. You know, the nut there and underneath there, and then the boost pump as well. I did move it out of the way to get to this nut right there. So we're gonna secure these and then we'll go fly and test out, see if I gain any speed back with these big bush wheels. All right, it's evening time. A little bit of bumps, not too bad so far. We got a strong new wind out of the north, but how do they look? I want to see from that camera right there how they look. Go ahead and give it some full throttle. We're seeing if we can beat about 140 miles an hour at this current pitch of the prop and my fuel weight, about 140 is what I'm used to seeing. 138, 139, 140, 141. Come on, you got more in you. 142, 143, a dead level. Promise you. I need to take some pitch out of this prop. I'm only at 26.30 RPM. A couple miles an hour better. I mean, I was hoping for five, but three, I mean, this is one test. I'd say three miles an hour, but I expect to see a few more miles an hour, right? Environmental's change and whatnot. It's the true test is going to see how it does on this long distance trip, fairly long distance. We're going to the backcountry of Idaho with Ani, with Trent and Haley, and with a 
bunch more people to show our wives the beauty of the backcountry. So I hope you guys join us. Thanks so much to Jeff at Aeroscort Products for these awesome fairings. I couldn't be happier that they're just more structurally sound. They just feel so much better. They're essentially equivalent weight, and we're cleaning up that draggy area of that lip strut to gear strut transition. So I'm going to leave this one here. Until next time, it's Steve. You're cleared to wreck.